uh, Jersey City, New Jersey, in 1930. And he established a uh, distinguished career in mathematics education, uh, teaching at the middle school, secondary, and college levels, serving as a math consultant and developing curriculum. He subsequently developed a methodology that led to a unique, powerful program for teaching mathematics to young people. Uh, Cohen, who co-founded a math program in Champaign-Urbana in 1976 with his business partner, Jerry Glenn. His private after-school program uses computers, pineapples, and many other manipulatives to help students of all learning abilities learn and enjoy mathematics. His books and videotapes, in particular, Calculus by and for young people, are sold internationally, and two books were published in Japanese. He has taught all ages of students for 56 years. So just let's stop there for a second. And if he's surprised, it's fantastic. After seven years of teaching in junior high school, he realized there must be a more enjoyable and effective way to teach math. He searched for alternatives. And this led to designing a new curriculum for New York State, learning about mathematics and creativity from the late Robert B. Davis with the Madison Project, Learning with real teaching um, is about observing great teachers, such as Sue Monell's uh, work at Bank Street, and then teaching teachers um, in terms of working um, on Plato. And for those of you who know, Plato is a computer-based education system started at the University of Illinois. Now, he did all these things before co-founding kind of the, the math program. Now, the math program is, among other things, a learning environment that enables Mr. Cohen to work with uh, anywhere from one to five students at a time in his home. And he enjoys working with students of all ages and abilities. He actually works with my little guy, Langston. We just started a couple weeks ago, uh, which is interesting. And when Langston, before Langston started, I asked him what 4 plus 4 was. He said 44. You know? <laughs> but what's 4 plus 4? Eight. There you have it. <laughs> Step in the right direction. <laughs> now, the name Math Man for Don came from when he, uh, uh, when came when he visited the home of a second grader. Upon reaching the front door, he heard his student inside the house say, Mom, here comes the math man. <laughs> then, then Don's wife, Marilyn, ordered a license plate for their car, Math Man. For those of you who remember the Lone Ranger, the Math Man, at Don's 50th birthday, one of his friends gave him a t-shirt, which had printed on the back, Who Was That Math Man? <laughs> One of the most interesting and satisfying events, besides the birth of his sons, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren in Don's life, was the completion of his book, Calculus by and for Young People. Ages 7, yes, 7 and up. That's the subtitle. Ages 7, yes, 7 and up. I remember the first time I met you, you slid that book over to me. I didn't know if I was supposed to buy it or not. I, I figured you would tell me the next time I saw you. I don't think I've been back. So. Now, this book was reviewed in December of 88 uh, in the issue of Scientific American, as well as many other places. He then, with his son Brian in Iowa, produced two videotapes. In 1992, Don created this book, Calculus by and for Young People Worksheets, which was an attempt to help young people, parents, and teachers by asking questions leading to differing ideas in his book. He then produced his a Map to Calculus. Uh, and the third book Don wrote was Changing Shapes with Matrices. He, was also, uh, he has also worked with students around the country and around the world, as far as Tanzania. Um, and when we think about all his activities, I think I've, I've asked some people who do know him, how many students they think he's worked with, and they just said, let's just say thousands upon thousands in that regard. Don has been blessed with a wonderful wife, Marilyn, of 59 years, three fine sons, six terrific grandchildren, and three great-grandchildren. A friend said of Don, he takes time to smell the flowers, gives them to people, which I think is just a wonderful quote. I can honestly say that when I met him for the first time, I knew after five minutes that he was one of the best educators I had ever had the privilege of meeting. He was witty, engaging, could relate to the multiple personalities and challenges in the room, and he had a confidence in his ability that I had rarely seen in an educator. I know there are a couple of people who have already come up and talked about trying to think about books around mathematics. I strongly encourage you to take a peek at Mr. Cohen's work. For those of you, um, uh, again, in mathematics education, you simply can't find a better master teacher than Mr. Cohen. I also knew in the first five minutes that I wanted him to be the college's first honorary James Scholar for his lifetime commitment to teaching. Mr. Cohen, on behalf, maybe I can get Kathy to come help me here. Sorry, Doc. Oh, it's just okay. <laughs>
Could you hand this to you? Mr. Cohen, on behalf of the College of Education at the University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign, I am honored to designate you as an honorary James Scholar. Thank you for all your contributions to the advancement of youth in our community. And can I get everyone to please join me in giving him a very warm welcome. Our second honoree James Scholar, which is for lifelong learning, is Mrs. 